Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Beyond the Horizon. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Fred, and as you can see from the title, we are doing our first ever video live, well, video reaction to a fan-made Dragon Ball Z film uh, or series. I don't know if they're going to come out with any more of it, but it's definitely a full film. And I've seen some of it on Facebook. I immediately cut it off. I didn't want to watch it. I've been trying my best for the work on the on my editing skills, so hopefully my editing skills is good enough and on par on putting up the video. I believe the video is going to be right here, somewhere in this general area. I'll just move over to the side a little bit, and I'll be looking down, but of course the video will be right here. So, um, it is called Legend, A Dragon Ball Tale. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's watch it. Let's see what we got. Let me pause it real quick. The following is a non-profit fan film. This project has no footage, music, or audio samples from existing Dragon Ball properties. Everything was built from the ground up, and we are proud of what we have, what we've made together. Uh, every single person involved in the creation of this short film has participated out of sheer love of animation and their enthusiasm for Dragon Ball Z. There was no budget, and there is not, I mean, this is not a monetized in any way. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super are all under the ownership of those companies. Uh, Toriyama is the creator of Dragon Ball Z, if everybody didn't know. Um, do the wise thing and support the official release. You would not be disappointed. And one thing I do want to say is the fact that they did shout out Dragon Ball GT. I know a lot of people didn't like that arc or that uh, standalone from Dragon Ball Z that much, but I feel like Super Saiyan 4 and some of the story concepts was dope. Granted, it was dumb how it started out, but some of the fights was dope. I love the Mega Shenron. I love um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4 everything. I, you know, Baby was cool, but you know what I'm saying, whatever. But all right, so let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, to every child who believed that they could train in a hundred times the earth gravity and every artist who taped Dragon Ball Z and paused it to draw their favorite heroes, this is dedicated to you. A lifetime of appreciation, I mean appreciating the craft of manga, uh, animation, and storytelling has led me to making this film. Mr. Toriyama, please accept this small token of gratitude as a grand love letter. Hold on. Oh, crap. Let me back it up one time. Um, uh, where was I? Craft of anima uh, manga, animation, and storytelling has led to me making this film. Mr. Toriyama, please accept this small, I mean, accept this as a small token of gratitude and as a grand love letter to the worlds that you created and shared with all children of the 90s. The inspiration will forever remain immeasurable. And that's definitely shout out to him. I think he passed. Now, I, I, I knock on wood if he didn't. Uh, Nisher Pasaya. Let's get into the video. Planet Vegeta Hydra Galaxy. Yo, that's Napa and Raditz. That if, if you can't tell by them figures right there in the video, that's not on Raditz right there. That's dope. My son. Stay strong. Your crown is here. And your kingdom awaits your return. Uh, Studio Stray Dog presents... Oh, snap. All right, let me pause it real quick. That's very dope. For one, uh, well, first off, they got Budokai 2. Yeah, I feel like that says Budokai 2 right there. Uh, I fell in love with the Budokai Taichi games. Um, Budokai Taichi 3 was my favorite one. I'm pretty sure it was Taichi. I hope it was. Um, let me see. Let me dissect this real quick. It looked like this, that's King Piccolo right there. Uh, that's definitely Chi-Chi and Goku fighting in the championship round. And it looked like it says 89 up there at the top. 
I don't know if that's a reference to when Dragon Ball Z was created or not. Um, but yeah. A film inspired by the legendary anime and manga Dragon Ball Z by Tomiyama. Legend, a Dragon Ball tale. Just how stupid can you be? Have we ever met? Have we ever met? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> uh, if y'all if y'all don't know this, um, back in Dragon Ball when they was younger, I think, or after when they fought the tournament, I can't really remember um, what episode or or the season in that arc or whatever. But Goku, what Chi Chi got Goku to promise to marry her in the future when they got older. So that's the reference to this point right here of Dragon Ball. And I also I don't. I don't think they ever fought in the championship round, but they definitely did fight in the tournament, if I remember correctly. And also, Chi Chi looked bomb, yo. Chi Chi looked nice. Now his life's over. Uh, is that all you can say for yourself? Good, good. All right, so just pausing it real quick. Based off the blast. That color is specific or specific to Brawley. So, let's see what's going on here. It looked like Vegeta in the background, though. Mm. Oh, she got taken out quick. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely Brawley. Oh, yeah, that's definitely Brawley. Oh. He cleaned Goku up quick. That's that's Broly. Yeah. That's, oh snap! A sand pod. So I'm assuming that's Vegeta. His power level real weak, and his boy. Yo. Oh. It's over 9,000, bro. It is over 9,000. But the main thing I wanted to point out, the fact that Broly heart rate is so calm, that's boy. Because I'm, I'm assuming beats per minute is his heart rate. Goku joint was like 230, somewhere around there. So, yeah, man. I was probably, probably, probably over 9,000, though. I wonder if this Goku... I, is this like Dragon Ball arc Goku, like when he was extremely young and, and, and just a lot weaker? Yo, he broke the scale on Legendary. What legend? Vegeta, new king of Saiyans, of the Saiyans. Saiyan legend broadly. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Piccolo and, um, I mean, Kami and, um, Popo in, in the background over there. Yo, he got the Kai earrings on. For the pride of the Saiyans. Mm. For my family. Yo. And do you see the look on, on Yance's face at the fact that Boma is smiling? Yo, that's disrespectful, bro. Like, uh, if y'all don't know, quick history, Yance and, and Boma used to date. And then Vegeta kind of just entered into her life and gave her two kids. Quick. You know what I'm saying? Like. He laid it down like she forgot about Yancha altogether. Dang. But the fact that he threw it, at, I, I, I couldn't. I, I remember seeing Yancha out there in the crowd. Yo. All right. So this might be a hidden treat. But if you look on the right, that slit looked like one punch man. 
It slick looked like him. I, I didn't. Yes. Even you, Kakarot. Let me figure out one punch man out here in the crowd. Today a god falls. Bones to dust. Mm. Ashes to the wind. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's a dope form. I like that form. Uh, I like the fact that they changed the, the color of the hair of the tail. That's very, uh, that's a nice detail. Mmm. I like this fight. It's because it's like the old age, um, uh, like who wins between speed versus power, power versus speed. And you know what I'm saying? I, at the end of the day, it comes down to technique. And... This boy Vegeta is giving this man broadly hands. This is completely different from Vegeta in the movie. Because Vegeta in the movie this, Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Okay. Mmm. Nice hand work. Nice work. Business. Mm. And and that's something I wanted to bring up real quick, yo. Is I hate the fact that it took out Gallic Gun out of the Dragon Ball Z series genre. Everything I felt like that would be dope for not only Vegeta to have it, but Trunks to have it. Because if you go back and look up the Gallic Gun, the Gallic Gun was on the same par as the Kamehameha, and. I think that was said back in like Dragon Ball Z when they first fought each other. But after that, like he kind of just abandoned the move. I don't like that. Like I like the fact that it was comparable to the Kamehameha. Now, if the final, like with me, with Final Flash, Final Flash was a boss because he used that against Cell. Perfect Cell. Even though Cell kind of just was like, yeah, whatever, bro. That, that, that move is cute. That was like a boss finishing move. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they always cheat Vegeta out of having something. Great, if that makes sense. But, you know. And one more thing, too. I know I'm pausing the video a lot, but hopefully you're, you're here for the commentary and my true reaction to the video. But it's very dope that each time Brawley hit him, like, you can tell the power that Brawley is hitting him with. In the detail of what they do to Vegeta. Because each time he hits Vegeta with a powerful move, it's always a a, a change of um, him going from Super Saiyan not to Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan not to Super Saiyan. So, that's dope. Oh, he chopped Buddy hand off. Oh, he chopped Broly hand off. Oh, he thought he won something. Nah, boy. Oh, he finally, oh, yo, girl, what you doing? Oh, snap. Oh, no pun intended, but her arm is, oh, that's beef jerky now, man. Oh, mm. Mm. if y'all are not getting chills right now at this very moment, in this moment of time, when this is happening, that boy, that, that is something different right there. That is something extremely different. Wow. That was extremely different. Hold on real quick. My bad, man. I'm back. Had to help somebody out real quick. All right, let's continue the video. Mmm. Yo, what's up? Okay. Yo, he actually looked like a, a Ghost Rider Super Saiyan. The savior from Earth, heaven. Son Goku. Bro, I look like he is not having it. 
Mm. Good hand work. Mm. Goku form in this remind me of Yodaichi from Bleach when she did her Bunkai or Bankai, however way people want to say it. When she went into like this lightning mode, his just looked like fire, but that's that's monster though. That's an animal. Mm. I'm liking it. I, I I just don't like the fact that they both did Kamehameha's together. I don't like that. Go go ahead. Mm. Oh. Yo, even in death, this man is still screaming out Kakarot. I think he did that in the movie, too. I think he did. That's pretty dope. I remember. My boy looked like Yusuke it's off of um, Yu Hakusho when he turned into Kakarot. a demon. Stop calling me that. That name is your birthright. For you, just like I, are the legacy of a proud race of golden warriors. We are the... This funny thing. What if you learned, like, your name wasn't really your name, but you was really named after a vegetable? That, whatever. Come on. Keepers of the primal light. Your light is out of control. It must be refined to be useful. Your days under the sun are numbered, Kakarot. So marry that woman while you still have the chance. And come with me. We have to prepare. He better for not say for war. War. Mmm. So this foreshadowing, do you think he's talking about war with Vegeta? I mean, not um, Vegeta, but Frieza? Like, is that the war that he may be talking about? Yo, this is really dope, though, man. This was really, 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 really dope. I like this. This is, um... This is boss. I, I hope they... I hope somebody fund them. Like, I hope somebody get behind them and try to make... Um... Try to make, um... Make it like a spin-off thing. Probably, like, where they fund them, but... It's associated with Dragon Ball Z, but it's not an actual Dragon Ball Z. Or I don't know how they would do it. But whoever... Stray Dog Studio, Animation Studios, man. That's pretty dope. Is it? Is it more? Yeah, it said I got like three more minutes. Yo, this dude is still alive? Is that the moon or just a random meteor? My boy arm, I mean hand is gone. Still talking. Mmm. Why well, look like my boy just added a new name on his hit list? Which is crazy because I well whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I was if I was Vegeta and Goku, I'd be like, yo bro, you can join us, man. We Saiyans. What's up? We brothers. Oh, this I'm must be the dude. Fashion. I'm the creator of Legend of Dragon Ball Tale. Uh, there's a lot I'd like to say, but I'll save most of it for another time. First, I'd like to say thank you to each of you for taking the time to watch this film. Your attention is greatly appreciated. As well, I'd like to give a huge and sincere thank you to my entire team who helped me bring this film to life. Their work is supremely skillful. I've gone ahead and dropped links to their socials in the YouTube description of this video, so please do take the time and check out all their work and share it with your friends. And lastly, it goes without saying, but... Animation takes a lot of time and energy Life in the and focus and stamina and budget and time. Uh, we had all that stuff except a budget. My entire team did this out of the sheer enthusiasm for Dragon Ball Z and the project itself. I feel, oh, that's dope. something that you really loved and you're excited to see more Who's that, Moon Knight? Animations. Please consider contributing to that's our Patreon. That's uh, Katara from the last Avatar? Support art. Oh, so he got a Patreon. And who knows, maybe the next one will take four years. <laughs> Four years? Anyway, oh, yo, somebody needs to sponsor him quick. And support. Mwah.
my planet needs me. Yo, that's pretty dope, man. Uh oh, it's storming. But yo, that's pretty dope right there, man. Um, that was boss. That that was extremely boss, man. Um, I'd definitely be subscribing to his Patreon. Um, definitely have a way for to help him. And you know, maybe, man, I can try to uh, try to do some more reactions to some videos or something that he got going on, man. But that was pretty nice, man. That was awesome. That was um, wow, um, wow. Yeah, man. I don't know. Um, but since we are now in the video reaction portion of it, and now I can react to like music videos, more music, and different things of that nature, I'm still getting used to the uh, whole reaction vibe of it. I, I really fanned out right there because I'm a I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z, and I just appreciate everything that they did in that in that video, even. The only part I didn't like was just the, the fact that Vegeta used the Kamehameha. Even though that's dope, I just didn't like the fact that he did that. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's their stuff. It's their program. They can do whatever they want to do. Yeah. That was really dope, though, man. That was really, really awesome. Um, so, if you enjoyed that video, if you would like to see more content like that, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Go down there in the comment section. Let me know which video I should react to next. Should I listen? I mean, react to a funny video, music video. Should I react to a comic book, story, documentary, horror stories, whatever. Um, you know, I'm still going to pick the ones that I want to do. Um, but, you know, I would love to have a something in there in the mix so we can have something in there so now that i know i can put videos up in here like the video that was just right here it'd be awesome for us to you know what i'm saying you can see the same thing i'm saying instead of you just seeing me and then you're reacting to me hopefully this is a stepping stone and a building point to where we can get to as a channel and as a whole where we can enjoy everything that comes to us so with that being said please please hit the like button hit the subscribe button i would definitely leave the link to his youtube um, page his patreon underneath the bottom of that and whatever else is underneath there where we can probably give this young man some support where he can make some more of that beautiful art you know what i'm saying you want to it's a it's a blessing in life when you can live out the thing that you enjoy for to do that as a career so you know what i'm saying that's definitely something that i, I high praise people for the doing but with all that being said, let me go ahead and close out this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. And remember, it's not about the destination, but it's always about the journey. Y'all take it easy. Peace.